Hi guys, Adam here. Just replying to Amita's uh, question, uh, a good question about uh, employing people in the clinic. Uh, rather than type, I thought I'd just do a quick email video blog because it's basically because I'm lazy and I want to get over and done with. <laughs> um, basically, Amita, I don't recommend you put people on contract and there's a few reasons and this is for everybody's sake. For everyone, you really need to recognise that contractors aren't necessarily contractors in the eyes of the law anymore. There are rules around that which you can check with your um, accountants and so on. But basically, if you're contracting people, you run the very real risk that one day they'll turn around and, and in the eyes of the law, consider themselves employees and you'll be liable for um, superannuation and all the other things. Um, big risk. So I'd suggest they do it just from a risk management point of view. Second of all is that you know when they're on contract, uh, you're giving too much away. You give away 50, 60 percent. Uh, generally speaking, they wait for you to bring the clients in. So if they're bringing their own client base with them, maybe that's it's a different scenario. But in most cases, they're not. In which case, if they walk in and they've got one or two clients of their own, they're basically waiting for you to give them clients. You've got a job to do, which isn't very rewarding because you're giving most of the benefit away in terms of they're making the money on the client. You've got your expenses to cover, which don't get covered in your clinic. Um, on 30, 40, 50%. Um, and it's not leverageable. In other words, you know, eventually that person leaves, they take the client with them, etc. Right? And it's no way to grow a business. Best way to do it is to employ people. And you need to employ people on a three to one uh, profit ratio. In other words, you know, if you employ them for a uh, dollar per hour, then you, can, you need to charge them out at three dollars per hour. Uh, employment 30 bucks an hour you charge them out at $90 an hour in other words you get a three times multiple on your investment in their time and there's a so um, it means the the practitioner makes their hourly rate with super and all those things added on top and they get some steady income you uh, cover your expenses and you make some profit that's some leverage attached to it now, if you combine that with uh, the senior practitioner model, which means the client is your client, you advise them of the treatment protocol, and you employ people, particularly, specifically, just to fulfill on uh, supporting and fulfilling on the services of that protocol under your direction, then that's a good model. That's got some sustainability, and, it can, and you can grow your business doing that. Um, what you need though, before you rush off and employ people, because it is risky if you haven't got the clients there, is obviously you need a client, you need client flow is what we call it. So in other words, make sure you've got oversubscribed client lists so that people are lining up to get to you, you've got a waiting list and people are, A-class clients are coming to the door looking for you and your protocol. How do you achieve that? Uh, come to Byron Bay on the weekend in a couple of weeks time and we'll go into it in detail, how you do it online. If you, otherwise, obviously things like joint ventures, uh, your elevator pitch, having your business cards ready and um, niching yourself down and applying the direct response marketing funnel, the emotional direct response marketing funnel is the way to do it and translating that into an online environment is the next step, which we're gonna do in October. In, well, in a few weeks, it's now October, 18th and 19th, in a few weeks here in Bynum, we're gonna teach that. Um, so there you go, Amita, don't employ someone until you have client flow. Don't contract them at all unless they bring a database with them, in which case we, we can negotiate it separately. Um, keep your focus on bringing A-class clients to the door, develop client flow, and then find practitioners who fulfill, help you fulfill on the protocols that you are enrolling people in. That gives you a leveraged business and will ultimately serve you really well. Hope that helps. Um, post your comments, questions, and thoughts in the discussion below and I'll be happy to add a further two cents should it be necessary. All right, all the best guys.